Alright, what is going on, buddy? Welcome back here today to another NBA 2K19 trade deadline rebuild. And it is going to be Marcus Saul getting traded to the Raptors rebuild. So, earlier today, a couple hours ago, I did make a full 10 minute video on my thoughts about the trade, kind of both sides where I see them going forward and how I reacted about the trade. Uh, that was uploaded before. So, if you want to see kind of like my main my side on the Grizzlies, go watch that video. Um, and yeah, I'm going to probably talk a little bit about the Raptors side, but I'm just going to kind of do the rebuild. So the, obviously this hasn't been updated yet. So this was kind of the trade. Just take out Kaboko and Caspi, but I have to make this work on 2K because of the 15 player rule. So I wonder if they'll actually accept that. No, they don't. So I did a trade over right on. I know also they traded Greg Monroe from like at a second for cap space. I'm not even going to make that move. Um, I don't even know how I would do that in 2K. Uh, where am I going here? I gotta turn off. What am I doing? Um, trade over. That's what I need to do. Okay. So, yeah, I'm gonna just kind of talk about it actually a little bit as we simulate the year. So, this is a dump for the Raptors. I kind of explained that in that video. So, honestly, just go watch that video if you want my full thoughts on the trade. So, this is gonna be the update. The lineup perfect with Ibaka as the six man. Good. And, yeah, we'll just roll with this lineup for the rest of the year. Poor Patrick McCaw. So, yeah, I'm just going to see him to the end of the year. And this team could win it all already. Um, six years added Tobias Harris. Bucks added Miritich. And the Grizzlies were like, you know what? We're just going to add. Or the Grizzlies. The Raptors were like, you know what? We're just going to add Marcus also. Big dub on their part. I'm going to be rolling out a bunch of rebuilds. I actually have a sheet of paper of what videos I'm going to be making. You guys are going to see this today on the 7th. So, videos after this you'll be seeing are, is a Harrison Barnes Kings rebuild, Otto Porter Jr. Bulls rebuild, Miritich Bucks, post Tobias Harris Clippers rebuild, post Marcus Saul Grizzlies rebuild, Fultz Magic rebuild. Yep, Marco Fultz got traded. Wild. I'll talk about that trade in that video. That will come tomorrow. And the winners and losers on the trade deadline. That video will also be tomorrow. So, you guys will get a double upload tomorrow. Ooh, wait. Can I bring back Ka uh, Kawhi Leonard? Sweet. Okay, perfect. So we bring back Kawhi. I'll kind of talk about in the offseason what happens if, like, Kawhi didn't re-sign with them. But, yeah, so, um, and then I tomorrow I'm going to have my Fultz Magic rebuild and then my winners and losers at the deadline. And then probably the next day I'll probably roll out, like, a Barnes and Porter Jr. rebuild. And then I can roll out, like, a post Gasol post Tobias rebuild. Something like that. So this team is going to push for 60 wins. And I honestly think they could hit 60 in real life, depending on how many more games Kawhi Leonard sits out. But I'm going to talk about if Kawhi Leonard weaves. Now, Kawhi Leonard weaves. I was thinking about this today before the deadline happened, not thinking they were going to get Marcus Saul. And I was just saying if they stayed. But if Kawhi Leonard left, and I would honestly, if I was Toronto, I would have maybe called up like Orlando in the offseason, seeing if they would want Kyle Lowry. And I would move on from Kyle Lowry and kind of like start a rebuild in Toronto or just like take like a re like retool in Toronto. But now that they do this, so say Kawhi Leonard does leave. Say he joins the Clippers in the offseason or wherever he goes. You honestly, this is still a playoff team with Siakam, with Lowry, and Gasol. If Gasol opts in, that's still a solid big three that will most definitely make the playoffs in the Eastern Conference. And Nick Nurse doing a great job as a head coach. So uh, that kind of rolls out any retooling if Kawhi leaves uh, because then you basically gave up Pertl and DeRozan for just a rental. But if he stays, then you're chilling with Lowry for another year, Kawhi, Gasol, a year older, but still Gasol, Siakam, Abaka. You can maybe sign somebody with like a minimal exception and save Katie Weaves. The Warriors, they're beatable now, so you can win a title next year. Um, I didn't really see if anybody won an award, but cool if anybody did. So we're the one seed. I think that's said we're taking on Detroit. Uh, also, I think an L, that team is like Charlotte. Should have made a move, honestly. If they try to make the playoffs, get Kemba to stay. Honestly, Kemba should weave. They have done nothing to build around Kemba in the last, like, six, seven years since he's been drafted. What was he drafted? 2011? It's been eight years. And they have not built a... They made the playoffs, what, once? And what was the second best player on that team? Goddamn Jeremy Lamb? I don't even remember. Was it Batum even there yet? I don't know. But, like, they haven't really drafted the best either. Monk and Bridges, I mean, credit sophomore, like... Uh, rookie, like, they have time to develop, but, like, obviously, you could have maybe gotten a Donovan Mitchell and, De and uh, Donovan Mitchell and a Kemba Walker and maybe paired, I don't know, who, who came after Bridges in the draft? Well, I guess, really, the mid to end of the first round this year wasn't that good, so I guess Bridges really was the best pick they could have made at that time. I mean, I would have rather had Porter Jr., but obviously, the whole injury concern, and then, obviously, I think they, I think they originally drafted Shai Gildress, and then they traded that for like a second to the Clippers or something like that so here are the stats if you were curious to see how they are uh I, I think it was a huge W for the Raptors really gave up nothing big like they did give up a major pick it was a 20-24 second whoop de do and DeLon Wright but you have Fred Van Vliet as a backup point guard anyway so it's a big dub for the Raptors they I mean you lose Valanciunas which 
hurts, but you really don't get worse. So this is what I'm so excited for to see in the playoffs. This series, like this round for the Easter Conference, the second round, you're gonna get the Bucks, Celtics, Sixers, Raptors, however they're seated, they're gonna pair up against each other in each game or each, they'll be so entertaining those series. I'm thinking it's gonna be like Toronto versus Boston and maybe Milwaukee versus Philly, but either way, none of those series are gonna disappoint even though maybe this one just did, but um, that's what I'm most excited for. It's the second round of the Eastern Conference playoffs. Boston, don't beat me. We're up 2-1, 2-2. Come on, Nick Nurse and Kawhi, bring me to the finals. There we go. So we're taking on the Rockets. So we might win it all in year one, kind of like the, the Sixers rebuild. So I'm actually going to hop in, though, if we are about to win. And we are up 3-1. So, yeah, I will hop in. Uh, Marcus Gasol, if Marcus Gasol got a ring, I'd be happy. Uh, so, damn. Ooh, it's going to be a close one. Okay, we're the... Wow, that fourth quarter sucks. Okay, down by don't win this. Uh, okay, we're down by one with a minute left. It would be cool if I hit a buzzer beater. All right, so we do have the ball too. Okay, let me make sure. Uh, I'm on Hall of Fame too because I know somebody will get mad in the comments. All right, so we're on Hall of Fame. Other starters in. Kawhi is not in. Are you kidding me? Don't tell me Kawhi fouled out. All right, but yeah, I do see Kyle Lowry literally averaging like. 10 assists a game for the rest of the year. Marcus Gasol knocks down a huge jumper there. Let's go. Uh, Kawhi didn't foul out. Thank God he's going to be coming in. But, yeah, I think Kyle, Kyle Lowry is probably the second, third scoring option now. I would think they would go to Gasol more. Uh, maybe they'll work in Siakam. I don't know how they're going to do that. But, yeah, I can see Kyle Lowry definitely averaging like 10, 11 assists for the remainder of the year. Uh, he'll kill it there. And also, we, we're about to win it all with Danny Green as our starting shooting guard. So that's a spot I want to upgrade in the offseason just for fun. Not like because they have to. Danny Green's a good player, a good defender, and a great shooter. Perfect 3 and D guy. But I'm probably going to look for an upgrade. Um, I, I, there's somebody in mind I want, but I don't know if I have the assets to get him. But we'll see. So we're up by one now. 35 seconds left. Uh, we're in Houston. Kyle Rowley, still a really good defender. Um, all right, Siakam, great defender. This defense is going to be absurd. Oh, my God. Like, Green, Lowry, Kawhi, Gasol, Siakam. That's so good. I mean, you had originally starting Abaka, who's going to be your sixth man. Oh, whoa. I didn't realize there were 16 seconds left. All right, we might be winning this game. Let's go. Uh, first one is Kawhi. What are you doing, bro? How do you miss that? All right. But, yeah, this team defensively is going to be insanely good. I would still say Abaka is probably... a Definitely a better rim protector right now than Marcus Saul is, but Marcus Saul is still a good defender. Definitely better than Valentinus, even though Valentinus has improved over time. I would still have Marcus Saul right now, but what is Marcus Saul? 35. He's going to be a little bit, I don't know, he's going to decline after probably this year. If he's not, I mean, he's already declining. Okay. Uh, Chris Paul, Lowry. Oh my god, he's gonna break my ankles. Watch me just get beat off the dribble here. Just no threes. Where's Harden? They're not playing Harden. Okay. Five, four. Okay, stay in front of him, stay in front of him. Good defense. Oh, you kid. Come on. Come on. All right. Well, I guess we're going to be playing overtime. So, wonderful. That was the best D I could have played on freaking Chris Paul. So, let me simcast like half a little bit into this. Uh, just don't be. Okay. Perfect. Tie game. Two and a half minutes left. Let's win this. Uh, do we have our starting lineup in? Perfect. Kawhi off his. Damn, James Ennis. All right. I didn't think he was going to actually steal that, but good D. Uh, ah. Kawhi, stay in front of Ennis. Should I steal this? Ooh. Okay, then why isn't Harden playing? Did Harden foul out? I have no idea. No, 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 I'm going to foul. Oh, that was going to be a foul. Wow, we're not in the bonus, thank God. Lowry only has one more foul to give up, but please, so please don't foul out. Oh, there's the beard. Great, and Chris Paul's probably going to hit this three. What's with him in these in and outs that are banking in? What are the second one that we've seen? Um, oh, did Gasol foul out? No, he didn't, so can we get him in? All right, let's give the ball to Kawhi Leonard. Do not turn this over. Siakam, give me a screen. We're just going to go for the two here. Oh, I see you, Siakam. Easy money. Easy money. Perfect pick and roll. He's got a double-double. 16 and 12 for Siakam currently. All right. Well, we're up by one. Uh, no, we're down by one. Damn, okay. Harden. Green will be a pretty good matchup, but Harden's just so good in 2K. What the? That was weird. Uh, all right, Green, just stay in front of him. Because uh, even if it's like a close shot like this, he'll hit it. Like, he's going to hit that, isn't he? No! Wow! Come on. Oh, let's go, Lowry. Uh, should I... Abaka, trail. There we go, Abaka. Of course he misses the goddamn layup. Oh, bro, we needed that. We needed that really badly. James Ennis, no way. No way. Come on. Okay, it's our ball. All right, we're going to go back to Kawhi here, I think. Uh, let's get a screen. I don't... I'm not really scared of James Ennis. Yeah, Kawhi to the rack. Perfect. Easy money. And that will give us the lead. 
118, 117, damn, it's gonna come down to the wire. No, we are at home. Did I mention that? Did I say before that we're on the road in Houston? Jesus. Um, I mean, we kind of have the same colors. Get that. Oh my god, he missed that. Let's go. No, wait. That. Okay, come on. Please get the board. Thank you. Let's go. Beautiful defense by this team. Oh my god. All right. We got to go to our best player. No, no, no. Be careful. Be careful. All right. We're going to Kawhi here. Uh, we're going to go pick and pop with Marcus Saul. We'll see how they. Okay. No, we're going to dunk. Actually, Siakam in the corner. Please, Pascal. Pascal, let's go. Puts us up by four. All right. So let's just clamp up here. Um, Lowry on Paul, they're probably gonna go here. Oh no, they're gonna go to Harden in the corner. Oh god. Uh, good D, Danny. Good D. Good D, Danny. Um, alright. Perfect D. Perfect D. Chris Paul for three. Lowry, why wouldn't you on him? Damn, Chris Paul's killing us. Alright. Uh, they're not gonna foul, but I'm not gonna go for a two for one either. I'm gonna get the ball to Kawhi again, because he's clearly been killing it for us oh my god i don't like being in the corner because there's been like a weird glitch where i'll step out of bounds so i'm gonna take a shot here it can put us up by three if he hits this if not um i should have got the pick on the other side all right quiet to the rack quiet throw that town over for reed let's go all right they need a three to tie it so please i'm gonna i'm honestly this is the best defensive line we can get Unless I put a Baka in for Gasol, who's probably a better rebounder for Gas than Gasol. Gasol, not the best defensive rebounder. So I will put in a Baka for Gasol, just for a little bit better defense. Uh, I want to see. Yeah, B plus paint, B plus blocks. All right, just, they're going to go to Harden now. Watch for Chris Paul off the screen here. Uh, or, okay, please don't hit that, I swear to God. Bro, come on, this game sucks. Like, literally, this isn't fun at all. Well, I mean, it is a, probably an entertaining game, but come on. Does my luck suck this much? Uh, let's get, I guess, we'll put Gasol in. I'm going to go to Kawhi here. Um, I don't know. They wanted to go to Lowry, it looks like. All right, well, we do have six seconds here. All right, no, no, I see you cutting Danny Green. No foul. He misses the line. Oh, we're going to double overtime. What the hell? I mean, this is just for game five of the NBA Finals. It's like, we if we lose, like, we have two other chances on winning. It's going to say triple. They still have this glitch. This glitch has been in 2K for, like, the last four 2Ks. But they don't want to take it out. All right, so let's subcast a little bit. Please don't. All right. We're up by one. Three minutes left. Uh, this is going to be, honestly, probably like a two-season rebuild, honestly. But uh, if we win this here. So Kawhi get over here. Are the starters in? I think so. All right, Siakam, let's get a screen. James Ennis can knock on Kawhi. Chris Paul, where was the foul there? Chris Paul fouled out. Let's go. All right, Siakam, knock down your free throws. First one is wet. Puts us up by three. And that one might miss. Yeah, not the best release by me. Uh, so, obviously, they're going to go to James Harden a lot here. Nobody else really scares me. I don't know who number two is in that corner. This isn't an update. They don't have, like, Shumpert or anything either. This isn't updated like that. Or I don't even know who else they got. Was it just Shumpert they gave up a first round pick for? That was a weird trade. Hey, Capella misses. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, it's Wade Baldwin. Ah, he got traded today. Him and Stauskas basically to the Pacers and then they got released. All right, Wade Baldwin. Let's go. Come on. Oh, my God. We're so lucky for him. was on the wrong side of the basket there. All right, I see you, Danny Green. Please hit this. That's game if he hits this. <laughs> Danny Green not helping me out at all. Misses that layup. Misses that open three. Wide open three nonetheless. Oh, get the steal. There we go. Kick it up to Kawhi. I don't even know why I threw that to green. All right. Let's be smart with the ball here. Uh, we're up by three. We can have a good chance to go up by five. Uh, let's call for a pick and pop. Okay. Easy money. Kawhi dunk. Kawhi dunk it. Oh, my God. He just posted Harden. And he, did he stare him down? Did he stare him down? Oh, that was filthy. It looked like he kind of stared him down. All right. Well, we're up by five now. It says we're in quadruple overtime. Okay. We're really in double overtime. Wade Baldwin, you don't scare me at all. Uh, okay, good cut there. And at least it's not an end one. All right, so it's a three-point game. Uh, Kawhi, can you come off a screen here? Or Danny Green? Ooh, I see you, Danny. Uh, Siakam, give me a pick. Siakam, roll. There we go. Oh, easy money, easy money. They are not able to defend this pick and roll whatsoever. We're at 132, 127, but no way to save because if they're if it's literally a one possession game to hit a buzzer beater, they'll hit it no matter where you on the floor. I mean, the credit was James Harden, who's probably one of the most OP shooters in 2K. Oh, Lowry, I love you. Uh, kick it up to Kawhi. Kawhi, go to post to James Harden again, or he's not even gonna want it. That's a business decision. We're up by seven. Thank God we're gonna probably win this. All right, guys. So we're gonna pretty much win the finals. It now says we're in our fifth overtime. Is this game, like, brain dead? Like, does it not know? Like, we're in double overtime. <laughs> and when we said we were in triple overtime to start, then it pushed it to quadruple. Why are you calling timeout? Now we're in, what, 
I don't even know. Kin, kin, I don't even know the word for five, whatever that acronym would be. But yeah, we are going to win the NBA Finals. I'm going to guess Kawhi Leonard, your Finals MVP. Took us long enough, but at least we won it in season number one. So maybe Marcus Souls will put them over the edge, but... It would, might have been a different story if we played the Warriors, not the Rockets. All right, so Finals MVP is probably going to be Kawhi Leonard, and it is dope. So we won a Finals in year one, so now I can have fun with this rebuild and do whatever I want to this team come off season time. All right, I have no idea how I'm going to get this player. It might be me having to do something in the offseason. It is a shooting guard. Uh, you probably aren't going to be able to guess it like right away, but we'll see. So do we have our first round pick? Please tell me we do, and we do. Okay, it's the least viable first round pick, but it's something. So, we'll keep the, the squad, yeah, like really good staff, so, I might trade that first, just for another asset, because he, does he have a team, I think he has a team option, so I gotta wait for him, so you might now be able to somewhat guess it, so what can I get for those two players, and like Norman Powell, if I can get like a good asset to put in this trade, and he put, ooh, Robert Williams in a first, those are two good assets, okay, I might do that from the Celtics, I think. Yeah, I'm probably going to do that shit. Okay, so we're going to pick up... Right, we did have to throw in another second, but who cares about seconds, especially in 2K. So, we knocked that out. Now, I can go here to team player options. So, let's see what happens. Who do we got to bring back? Marcus Schultz declined his player option. Okay. I'm definitely going to try to bring him back in the offseason, obviously. Does OG and Anobi not have a player option? Or a team option? I guess not. Was he a second round pick? No. He was a first round pick. Oh, uh, it was 2017. Okay. Wait. Shouldn't he have a team option? Oh, well. I don't care. Uh, so... Oh, I don't think I have the assets to do this. Do I? Uh, it probably cost me OG. And Robert Williams... Let me see. Alright, I think we're gonna have to sign, like, somebody on a mid level exception and then use him to trade for this guy. So I do want to bring back Danny Green. Uh, McCall doesn't hurt to bring back if we have bird rights on him. And obviously, let's bring Marcus Saul back. He just wanted a ring. So, let's see. Can we bring... All okay, we get all of them. Yeah, Greg Monroe, you can go walk. Everybody else, you can go walk. Um, yeah, the guy I want is three-star trade value, and he's still on his rookie scale contract, so it's going to be a little bit tricky to get him. So who could I afford here? That's, like, interesting. So, like, Rondo, who's got, like, trade value? Um, I feel like a guard here. Maybe, like, Collison, Lynn might have Rondo. Ugh, it's just nothing really. Ooh, Patrick Beverly in the scene would be dope. Tyreek Evans might have some trade value, so we'll offer him... Like four and a half mil. And then I'm going to offer him OG and an OB, Robert Williams and two first. We'll see if they do it. So the guy I want is, I don't know if you guessed it. Take your last minute guess. It is not Malik Monk. It is Buddy Heald. I don't know if I'll be able to afford him, but let's try it. OG and an OB, Robert Williams, Patrick McCaw. Okay, maybe I don't have to give up in an OB. But let's see Patrick McCaw, who has one star. Great. And Tyreek Evans. And the Celtics first. Ooh, yeah, screw you, Patrick. Okay, there we go. It works. So we picked up Buddy Heald. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I do want to pick up either a backup small forward or a power forward with Patrick McCall, and then we're good. Patrick Patterson, not terrible. Uh, Henry Ellison would be kind of fun. Mitchell Robinson, interesting. Don't want a center, though. Uh, we could go Patrick Patterson. Uh, Tory Craig? We get some Tory Craig here. Can I get Malik Beasley? Probably not, right? Yeah, no shot they do this. All right, so we'll do Tory Craig from them. He'll be the 10th man or 9th man. He'll get like eight minutes a night. So I'll see you guys at training camps. All right, so training camps, untapped potential. Like, obviously, Buddy Hill's going to start. Danny Green, ooh, he'll get bench minutes. Um, geez, there's so many cops uh, outside right now. Uh, perks of living in North Philly. So Siakam can get an untapped potential. And we'll give it to, I don't care. We'll give it to Gasol so he doesn't regress. I don't know if that even works. So, um, let's advance here to the next season. Jesus. All right, so coaching, we got Lowry here. Okay, perfect. Abaka, you can get like 28. Uh, we'll go 20, 15. No, Corey Brewer, I traded. Oh, that's actually not bad. But uh, I'm going to play Torrey Craig. Is Torrey Craig a good defender? Uh, in this game, what's his grade? It is a C plus, so not that good. So we're gonna get him 10, we'll go 15, 20, 27, 31, 33, 37, 
and then 34. Perfect. All right, so that'll be for me. I'll see you guys at the end of the year. Let's try to repeat. All right, so we're wrapping up the season. I don't think, we're, would we win like 61 or 62 games last year? We might hit 60. I don't know. No, we can't hit 60. The best we could do is 59, but we'd have to win out. But hey, we are on a four game winning streak. Make that five. Ooh, just a one point win against Washington. Nets on the road, one by six. Miami on the road. I swear. Come on, don't lose Miami. There we go. We blow them out. Charlotte at home, we should win. That OKC on the road, we're probably going to lose. Wow, we won by 48. Damn. I kind of want to see the box score. I want to see the box score of this game. Kawhi at 24. He held at 21. That makes me feel good. 13 assists for Maui. Let's go. Can we wrap up the season on like a 10 game winning streak? We do. We won by 14. We won by two weeks. Let's go. Um, all right, we get no awards besides Coach of the Year. Congrats to Nick Nurse, Beast, 2K Demi Coach, um, or Demi God Coach. No Raptors. Uh, well, Kawhi All NBA first team. Wait, no, that was All Defensive first team. Did he get an All NBA team? He did. All NBA second team. No other Raptors. Um, All Defensive first team, and that should be it. Yeah, I don't think we had a draft pick. So we are the one team once again taking on Orlando. We won one last game this year. Uh, which is okay. So, how did Buddy Heal do? Oh, uh, that's his per 36. So, we averaged 16 and a half points. I mean, you have Kawhi, Siak, and Lowry Gasol. He's not going to score the most. So, we're taking on the Orlando Magic, who have John Moran and Jimmy Butler. But they also just got um, uh, Marco Fultz. So, I'm very excited to see what they can do for him. Also, cost them an OKC top 20 protected first. A second round pick in Jonathan Simmons. And they got to keep T. Ross. That was a hell of a pickup. Even if Fultz, like, he's had one, what, this would be his second year. He's played, what, less than 40 games in the NBA, less than 30? He might have played less than 20. I don't know the exact number of time I had. And the dude is clearly injured, and he was playing, like, messed up. So, such a low risk with a high reward for the, uh, for the, um, Magic. So, player stats, Kawhi probably led us in scoring, 24, 7.5. Healed, 16.5, 4 rebounds. Gasol, 16 and almost 9, and 5 assists. Uh, Lowry had eight assisted games. Siakam, 12 and a half and seven and a half rebounds. Pretty good uh, stuff. Lowry had three rebounds. Ibaka, 12 and seven and a half off the bench. We're definitely in position to... Wait, how did um, Craig and Green do? Um, I'm sure it wasn't crazy. Yeah, six and three. Uh, what did they shoot from three? 33 and 43. Damn, 43%. That's really good. All right, so let's simulate the current round against the Orlando Magic. They beat us in game one. Okay, we're down 2-0. 2-1. I mean, that is a good Magic team. Are you kidding? Are you kidding me? I hate 2K. I hate... 2K just makes no sense all the time. I'll do a Season 3 just for fun. But... How did they beat us? All right, so the Sixers win it all. Ben Simmons is your Finals MVP. Uh, they beat the Rockets in 7, so the Rockets lose back-to-back -back Finals. So we'll just do one more year for fun. I don't know who I would move on from. Maybe I'll trade Kyle Lowry. I don't know. Uh, just for fun. So we do have our first round pick. Uh, I do want to keep the coaching staff intact. Okay, I don't remember who our old assistant GM was. Can I sound like an actual GM? Jeez, they want a lot of money. Will you accept that? Damn. Okay, Andrew Truman. So let's go to the draft. I'll probably trade my first again. Uh, actually, maybe we should upgrade our bench too. Uh, Gorgie Jang. Interesting. Jang Diang. Uh, you know what? I'm going to do that. Uh, they should honestly get... I don't want to throw in a second though. I don't want to throw in any seconds in the trade, but can I get a future first? Can I get a future first without throwing in a future second? All right, I guess not. So we'll do we'll do that Suns trade. All right, so we do that. Now let's go to team player options and see who we got to bring back. Probably OG. Okay, just, just kidding. I don't know where this guy ever comes from. Sackham and Hield, we're going to have to pay a lot of money to. So let's do that. Well, they're restricted. Lowry's a free agent. I gotta bring him back. Great. Uh, healed. I'll bring back, obviously, Ibaka. I wanna bring back. And Fred Van Hoy, whatever. Our whole team is up this year. Holy crap. Is that what's happening for in real life for the Raptors? Damn. Uh, so we get all of them pretty much. That, okay, so we get those. So let's not renounce the rights on the restricted guys. So Healed and Siakam. Let's definitely try to keep. Obviously, we're gonna keep. So I'm just. There's just so many free agents to keep track of. I'm just trying not to mess it up. So, healed except for the Mavericks. Siakam, the Knicks. So, one, two, three, four, five. We bring all five of them back. Lowry had a $50 million cap hold. Holy crap. That's a lot of money. All right. Can I afford anybody cool? Um, Kemp Bazemore. I'll throw some money at Kemp Bazemore. Wow, we're at negative 50 mil. Okay, so we get Bazemore. So, let me look at the squad. We have one, two, three, four, 
Uh, we'll say five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right. Um, I might. I know it's it's sad, but I might have to move Danny Green. Uh, I'm like two first for a better bench player. Actually, he's got decent trade value. Uh, what can I get for him? That first and like our first because this will be the last year anyway. Uh, Gershon, Yabasuli, Jalen Brunson, Taj Gibson, Kenneth Farid. Uh, not that many good offers. Um, I'll take. I'll take goddamn Kevin kind of Freed. Why not? They'll also throw me a first. But, yeah, this will probably be the last year anyway. I'll see you guys at the start of next year's season. All right, guys. So, let's have potential. Let's send Healed. We'll keep sending Healed and Siakam there. Uh, and then I'll send... We'll send Big Man Defense to Gasol. Because we might need that coming down the stretch this year. So, uh, yeah, that'll be the final offseason. This will be the last year. If we don't win it all, we won it in year one. And I got to play it finally. I didn't make the same mistake in the Sixers one. Realizing I wouldn't make it back. So... Farid, you can get 13. We'll go 17, 22, 27, 31, 33, 37, 30, 30. Is somebody else getting minutes down here? Wait, what? 13, 17. Okay, we'll go 20. Why do I not have, like, any minutes to use right now? I'm so lost. Uh, maybe, oh, because Craig got 10 last year. Okay. Uh, we'll go 19 and then 26 and then we'll go two more there. So this will be the squad. I'll see you guys at the end of the year and hopefully we can win another title. Maybe, possibly, hopefully. Alright guys, so in our final year, we have our best record yet. We won 60 games in year one, 59 in year two, and in year three, we top it off with 61 wins and another coach of the year in Nick Nurse. Kawhi, all be a first team. Freaking, oh my god, 28 points, 8.5 rebounds, 3.7 assists, 2 steals, 43% from three, 87 from the line, 50 from field. Jeez, he was almost a 50, 40, 90 club while wow, averaging all that wild stuff. Um, I'm sure we're probably not going to get another wrap through here unless it will be Kawhi on all um, defensive first team, and that'll be it, and we don't have any draft picks. So we're the one seed again, taking on Orlando. I don't remember if we took on, no, we took on Detroit in year one, but we took on Orlando last year. I guess we're trying to get revenge. That's a really good eight seed, so we'll see what happens. And they have Wiseman now. How did they get Wiseman? Did they have someone else? He got a 15. Oh, Jesus. All right, we might lose again. Uh, Player stats, Kawhi balled out. Heels about 18 and 4. Lowry, 13 and 9 and a half. Gasol, 12, 7 and 4. Siakam, 11 and 7. Abaka, 10 and 7, almost. Um, so, yeah, this, these are pretty much the stats if you want to pause and see. Team stats, we were. Seventh in scoring, probably first in defense because we have Kawhi, Siaka, Lowry, um, and first in point differential. All right, can we not lose to Orlando in the first round again? We're down 1-0. <laughs> We're down 2 -0. Okay, I hate this game. Watch us losing 5 again. Okay, nope, 2-2. Can we win it? 3-2, all right. All right, we come back with four and answered. Let's go. Now we're taking on Brooklyn. Karis Avert, I think, is returning tonight or tomorrow. Well, that's dope to see. Um, and I'm excited to see him. I want to see him back. Especially with Dinwiddie. Or, yeah, Dinwiddie out. He'll be... I don't think he'll start. He won't start right away. They'll definitely uh, put a minute restriction on him and ease him back in. So we beat them in five. Now we're taking on Chicago. All right. They got Dinwiddie. Interesting. They do have Zion. But I think we should be able to get past them. We're at 1-0, 2-0. 3-0, 4-0, there we go. All right, and we're taking on, oh, don't tell me it's Houston again. Okay, the Warriors who have KD, okay, Curry, they did lose Clay. So we'll see how this goes. They won 52 games. We won game one by 13. Buddy, he'll drop 33. Shot 66% from downtown. 23-9 and nine for Gasol. Game two, we lost by seven. Curry dropped 31. Did that, Jawan Evans or Jacob Evans? Jacob Evans only dropped 25. Okay, game, wow, we're down 2-1. to one. Well, that sucks. 24 for Leonard, 20 for Heald. Not enough, though. And we tied up 2-2. We won by 2. Curry jumps 42. I feel like KD has not done a lot in this series. Kawhi's kind of clamping him. And we're up 3-2. to two. Let's go. Um, Heald jumps 30. Let's go. And can we beat them in 6? I'll hop in this game if it's close. It's going to be in the Oracle. Great first half. And it looks like, you know what? Uh, it's not even going to be a close game. Screw it. Right, we're going to win the NBA Finals. Uh, don't. We won three unanswered. Kawhi drops 32 and 11. Probably second Finals MVP. We got Marcus Saul two rings. We got Abaka his first two rings as well. And Lowry their first two rings. Uh, this would be Kawhi's third and fourth ring. Or, no, second and third ring, excuse me. So, yeah, we went all Kawhi's your Finals MVP. So that is going to be for me for the Marcus Saul. Um, the Marcus Saul Raptors rebuild. I did mention all those rebuilds in the beginning of the video. They are Harrison Barnes, King's been the lookout for, Otto Porter uh, Bowles, Nicola Miritich Bucks, post Tobias Clippers rebuild, post 
Grizzlies, uh, Gasol, or post Gasol Grizzlies rebuild, Fultz Magic rebuild, and Winners of Losers of the Deadline. The Fultz Magic and the Winners of Losers of the Deadline will be out tomorrow, and then I don't know how I'm gonna do the other rebuild. So that'll be for me. Thank you all for watching. Thank you all, or, yeah, thank you for watching. I love you guys. Follow me on Twitter, link in the description. I'm almost at 10,000 followers. Please get me there. Um, I would appreciate it. So yeah, link in the description. Talk all about the NBA on there. So, love you guys. See you guys next video. Peace.